Hello guys, so this is one of my most requested videos so far. A lot of people are asking me what build am I currently using. So first things first disclaimer, this is not the best point guard build on NBA 2K24. I mainly created this build specifically for my playstyle. As you guys all know, those who have been watching me for a long time now, I am a pass first point guard but of course, this is a build that can create shots as well. Because I believe that if you can't create your own shots as a point guard, you will not create open looks for your teammates. One more thing is as you guys can see on the video, I am mainly playing on rec. So this build is offensive heavy. So don't expect a great defensive attribute. And like I said earlier, this build is for my playstyle. This is a new build and it's currently working for me. So you're welcome to try it but again... Depending on your playstyle, I would highly recommend that you tweak some of the attributes. So at the end of this video, it's still up to you. But anyway, before I show you the builds and the animations, I just want to take this time to thank all of you for always supporting this channel. Special shout out to my longtime followers such as Derek Rose Jr. This kid has been watching me ever since I started. And shout out to these folks as well. Thank you so much guys for always supporting. So anyway guys, this is my build. So some things that I want to highlight here is I have a high driving layup. We have an 85 driving layup. Like I said earlier, we want to be able to shoot everywhere on the court. Now for our shooting attributes, we have a 96 three pointer. This would enable you to get gold limitless range. And I just want you to know that I came from a 92 three ball and now I have 95. And there is a huge difference. I'm not sure if I'm the only one, but getting the agent tree on gold is really a huge difference. Now I'm not sure if it's just me. So I want to hear from you. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Next thing is our playmaking. So I have a 91 passing. On my first build they told me that 80 was enough. But trust me when I say this it doesn't compare to 91 pass accuracy. The gold needle treader is something that is really annoying at this game and I am currently abusing it. Imagine breaking ankles of your opponent by just passing. I mean, it doesn't make sense but at the end of the day, this is only a game. Now, I think one thing that you can complain in my build is the defensive rating. But I don't know if I'm the only one. But if you are good at controlling your left stick, all you need is the interior defense. But again, like I said earlier, it might work for me. I'm not sure if it's gonna work for you. So yeah, this is the build and again, you can use this as a template, you can edit it, it depends on you. Now I would love to show you the badges but I think it's better if you take a look at it on the builder. The video is gonna be too long if I go in depth on each of these badges. But anyway, if you have question regarding the badges, I can create a video about it. But anyway, one thing to highlight about the badges of this build is getting the gold agent 3 gold limitless range and hall of fame green machine i only have gold green machine on my previous build it's great but it doesn't compare to hall of fame next thing that we're gonna talk about is the animations i did a lot of experimenting for this build and i believe that these are the best animations that you can get for these kinds of attributes so layup style we have trey young dribble pull up only normal I'm still waiting for the Devin Booker pull up, hop jumper, Trey Burke, you can change it to Davion Mitchell if you want, pass style Halliburton, dribble style Kyrie Irving, a lot of people are asking me too, is it worth it to get 90 speed with ball just to get the Kyrie Irving dribble style and I would say yes 100%, we only have 93 handles so we have the Aaron Fox, we don't have Steve Francis and for regular breakdown combo. We have Isaiah Thomas and I'm telling you, this move is cheese. Combining it with Jam Rant aggressive combo, this is one of the most easiest and the best moves in the game. All you need to do is flick right stick up and combine it with the aggressive combo, hold sprint and then right stick up again. And this is what it looks like. I actually got this from someone I played 1v1. I had to check his dribble moves and this is what I saw. Been using it ever since. Good thing about this combo, it's moving so your defender doesn't know where you're gonna go. Again, combine it with the aggressive combo. Almost works every time. Super easy to do, good for beginners. For our dunk animations, we don't really have a lot. Actually, upon making this video, I saw some of the animations wasn't equipped yet so I bought it. Because this is a new build, I only targeted the standing dunk 
and the CJ McCollum driving dunk. So the good thing about this build is it has standing dunk. So when sometimes you receive a pass under the rim and a defender is right behind you, you're not gonna get blocked easily because as you know, sometimes the animations, especially if you don't have standing dunk, the defender will have the chase down block animation. Especially for us guards, we don't really prioritize our close shot. We don't have fast twitch. So standing dunk would be a way to go. So I'm not gonna go in depth with the other animations or dribble animations like the Jamal Murray behind the back because I think you guys all know it. But anyway, the last thing that we're gonna talk about is my jump shot animation. Now my jump shot is not the fastest in the game, but it gets the job done. So I have for base, we have Stephen Curry. Release one would be Oscar. Release two would be Curry. Blending is 45. And then the speed is 2 out of 4. If you want it to be a little bit faster, you can max out the release speed. But just like my build, you can use this as a template. So that's it. That's everything you need to know about my build. If you want me to create a video about something, just let me know in the comments. Something I've been thinking about is creating a video of a guide to solo wreck or something like that. But it's still up to you guys. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure to follow me on TikTok. Follow me on Twitch. Like and share the video and if you haven't subscribed yet, click the subscribe button. That's it for me. Thank you so much for watching.